welcome back to my channel dad's princess things in this html tutorial sub you have uh, we have seen many things like html uh, basic things attributes classes ids and uh, uh, tables and many things today we are going to deal all about a html javascript in this html javascript uh, we are going to see about uh, why the javascript is used in this html pages what the use of it and how to use it and uh, what are the need uh, things we have to do like that uh, we are going to see today javascript is mainly to make the html pages more dynamic and interactive if for example uh, without any interaction the uh, everything is look uh, in a old fashion likewise uh, the interaction is will be needed from from the client side to the uh, server or user uh, so the type of interaction and uh, the things will go on uh, to make the server or user a client uh, to be satisfied with your web page or then uh, your web page or your business will be uh, will be a high level so to make the web page is more interactive and dynamic and they look attractive and uh, to add the many more features to the your web page uh, we use this javascript in your web page to make your web page more dynamic and interactive javascript is used here is the first example in the javascript you can see uh, while clicking on this click me to the uh, display date and time this is the button actually if you click on this you will gonna give you this time the how this time will be clicking uh, giving here uh, why this is hidden by uh, while i am clicking uh, uh, before clicking on this button what the things will go on here will be done by using this javascript uh, everything is done by using this javascript what is javascript and everything we can see in the next uh, coming uh, few minutes let's see this example to know about uh, why i am getting this time while clicking on this uh, click me to display and time and date uh, because i am giving this uh, button tag here in this button tag the text will be click me to display time and date in that i am giving some uh, javascript which is called as on click is equal to document dot get element by id which is a demo id name uh, dot inner html is equal to data uh, function i am giving uh, whenever the uh, button is clicked i am telling that uh, use this uh, id name demo in that html element uh, with the id demo in that html element you have to give the inner html as date function which is date function uh, returns a value of a particular data uh, on time of that uh, uh, instant so like this in this uh, paragraph which is a p paragraph is the html element which is having a id name demo at that place you are going to have this time and date here is the example i'm clicking on this i'm getting the time here so likewise things go on uh, so this is the basic html program you can understand here by using the button tag and the script tag so know about what is meant by script tag script, script tag is a tag which is de which is used to uh, define a javascript in that tag uh, html is nothing but a uh, tag uh, is a language of tags so here we have to write the script in this script tag uh, script tag is the client side script uh, script elements either having a script statements will be uh, there or external script files also we can add by using this uh, source attribute uh, the main purpose of this javascript is to uh, ch change uh, the image manipulations or uh, form validations will be done by using javascript and also to make the changes in the content also we can do in by using javascript uh, uh, for example do you want to select any html element uh, uh, how to select the particular html element uh, if you have a doubt uh, then you will have a uh, form method called uh, document dot get element by id most often we use this or some others use a uh, uh, get element by class name also so most often we go for with an id name that is get element by id by having a particular id to the uh, html element by using that id name uh, we can retrieve the particular html element and we can use that element and we can change uh, or alter that elements also this is the simple example by using the script tag where i have written document dot get element by id id uh, name is a demo uh, the html element having the id demo in that demo we have uh, in that uh, uh, html element i am going to write a javascript whether that element may be the empty element or maybe the content will be there here i am taking the uh, paragraph elements as an empty element which having a id only demo i am using that i am placing that he is a hello javascript there so this is the example simple example where i am getting a hello javascript uh, with the id element having demo no buttons and everything this is a normal uh, example by using the script tag how to use the script tag is the example now why to javascript what is the uh, main thing is there what is the uh, added advantage or uh, any specialty is there in the javascript we can see in this here a taste of a javascript why javascript is that much uh, uh, efficient why we have to go for this 
uh, well, basic things will go on. Uh, we can directly pin the test or whatever. The, uh, in this example, you can say we can directly write the text whatever we want in this paragraph. What is the specialty of using JavaScript? You can ask the question. So here is the example. Uh, why uh, to use JavaScript? JavaScript not only add the content to the particular uh, uh, HTML element, but also you can change the content. If there is already a content in that particular paragraph, you can also change that uh, content. Here I am having an ID demo. We are having a, this is a demonstration. I have given the content in that paragraph. But I, in the script, I am giving the function. In that function, I am getting that ID demo, the uh, HTML element which is having ID demo. Inner HTML, I have to change that. Hello JavaScript. When this is going to happen, whenever uh, having a button called on click, uh, click me is the button there with the, with the content of click me. If I click on this button, it is redirected to the my function, which is JavaScript function. Uh, my function, uh, I'm getting this uh, uh, hello JavaScript in place of this demonstration. Uh, just check, check the example by running this example. I'm clicking on this. This demonstration will be changes to the hello JavaScript if I, if I click on this. Here you can see the example. Likewise, you can change the content of the uh, HTML elements by using this JavaScript. Unlike, this is a basic example where we have to insert this particular uh, text in that uh, empty element. Uh, now, this is the example where we have to change in the content of that particular element. This demonstration is changes to Hello JavaScript by clicking on that function button. So, next, uh, uh, not only the change in the content, but also we can change the styles of that uh, elements. Like by using a JavaScript, you can also change the styles of that content. Here, I am using a uh, paragraph with an ID demo and having some content there. I, in that, uh, we are having a button also on clicking on button. I am calling the JavaScript function my function. Um, in that function, I'm applying some styles like document or get element by ID. ID uh, having demo, I'm getting this element. Uh, this element, uh, uh, which is the content uh, specified in that element, will be having uh, that will be uh, these styles are going to apply style dot font size. I'm applying font size of 25 pixel and the color has red color. Text color will be red color and the background color will be yellow. Uh, I'm applying these styles whenever I click on this button called my click me. You can understand these things. Uh, we have a button and have a uh, HTML element with an ID demo, and that ID demo will be gotten by the JavaScript by using get element by ID and applying particular some styles. Uh, see the example. If I click on this, the uh, this particular text in the P paragraph uh, text will be changes according to these uh, stylings. See this example. Let's see. Yes, beautiful. It has changed it. You can see a uh, font size is 25 pixels and style uh, color will be red. Text color and the background is yellow. Everything is fine. Here is the example of this uh, changing the styles by using this JavaScript. Not only the styles, but we also can change the attributes of the uh, elements by using this JavaScript. Attributes means uh, uh, maybe the uh, source uh, or anything. Here is the example of a light bulb. Here generally having an image of off as a default. I'm being uh, with a particular width and height. Uh, in that, I, in that, I'm giving a ID called my image. Uh, I am giving two buttons here next to that of image, a button on click and uh, calling the function of light with a variable of one and uh, off click uh, for the uh, for the off button I am giving a uh, calling a function of light with a uh, zero attribute uh, parameter. If I go on to this script function in that function I am giving a light function uh, with the parameter of SW in that I am taking a var pick. Uh, pick variable and next uh, if uh, if the parameter is zero i'm uh, getting a picture i'm changing the picture as a off picture and next if it is a if it is a one a light value is one then i'm going to get a on picture like i am changing the source of the picture into a or of off button a uh, gif like that so how these things are uh, happening i just want to run this example i'm clicking on the light on button i'm getting a light of one variable i'm getting here i'm getting a bulb on uh, uh, gift there so you can see here light is on if i click on light off light will be off if i click on light on it will be on so like this gift so we can change by using this javascript here we are using the uh, changing the attributes by using this javascript so javascript can also use for us to change the value of source uh, that is source attribute of an image also we are changing here so javascript is not only adding content to the empty elements but also we can add uh, or uh, change the content of that element uh, uh, here is the example and we also change the stylings of that element See, this is the example and also we can uh, change the uh, attributes also by using this javascript uh, it's very nice to do such type of things in your web page which, which will add uh, a new uh, look to your web page and adds more attractiveness and uh, uh, looks very uh, clear web page
next also we have a no script tag why when we use this no script tag what is the use of this no script tag we can see here no script tag defines alternative content to be displayed to the users uh, that have disabled scripts in their browsers for example if you are some browsers are there some browsers doesn't support javascript which is have a problem with the uh, javascript which doesn't the browser doesn't support the javascript at the time of uh, that time uh, without any errors or any uh, discomfort in your web page we are using this no script tag whenever your browser doesn't identify or support a particular javascript then you have to print that no script tag then uh, whether whatever the information you want to uh, inform uh, to the uh, particular uh, client or uh, user then you can uh, specify those things in this no script tag that is the alternative content to be displayed for the users if you're having problem with the particular script or, or if your browser doesn't support that script that is the use of this no, no script tag you can see the example here here we're having a script tag and also now having a non script tag if any error uh, happens in this script tag whether the browser doesn't support this script tag then they go for the non script tag this will be displayed here is the browser is very good browser it does it supports javascript here so you can observe the output uh, you are getting a uh, p uh, paragraph and also a, this uh, uh, particular uh, hello javascript is inserted in this uh, element of uh, uh, html of id uh, demo it's very nice hello javascript and uh, no problem so this no script tag is not displaying here if you're having any uh, discomfort uh, with the javascript for the browser then it will gonna display this no script tag which is alternate text for the javascript when the browser doesn't support javascript uh, sorry i'm giving content like sorry your browser doesn't support javascript for the information of uh, the uh, user so that he can change the browser or can do alternate things right there so that is the use of this no script tag we can use of uh, no script tag for the better uh, purpose uh, with video not aware of the browser which user uh, are uh, using there so it is for better purpose a better understanding of uh, uh, web designing we all have to use this no script tag in your web pages while creating so to uh, avoid any discomfort is discomfortment in your web page so that's all about this javascript you can try this uh, html exercises here and also have a a uh, brief explanation uh, about the scripts by doing those uh, exercises so that's all about today all about html javascript how to use these and why to use these what is the use of for this uh, whether it is important or not you have uh, seen here i think yeah, everyone is clear with this uh, html javascript if you like this video give a big thumbs up below and if you have any comments or uh, uh, suggestions uh, feel free to comment in the comment section uh if you have any doubts also you can feel free to comment in the comment section and uh, if you are friends in search of any web developer site suggest this website uh, which is very cool to learn from the basics to the high level and also suggest our videos uh, which is very clear uh, for everyone uh, to uh, learn in a quick manner so uh, that's all for today thanks for watching and subscribe to my channel and never forget to click a bell icon below to get notified each time when we upload a new video so that you will never miss a, any updates about our uh, upcoming videos uh, stay tuned to our channel uh, so bye bye that's all for